Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on the Nifty 1060 Collections Auto Pinner. First off, a quick look around this page. This area is where the collections will be displayed, ready for pinning. And this area is where you set up the collections that are to be pinned and the boards to which they're to be pinned to. And then you can set up delays between pins and groups of pins. This is the button to start things off and you can pause and shut down and then you can continue after a, a crash of some sort or a, a shutdown. And down the bottom here is where you store a summary of what you're up to on each session. Okay, so that's the quick description of the auto pinner page. Okay, I'm now going to work with a new window so that uh, I don't mess up the auto pinner window in a little while. Go to the Zazzle Collections page and it contains 60 collections per page. Now I've got a cute animals Pinterest board so that's the one that I'm going to get some collections for. So cute animals. And that's all 60 collections loaded. So now I need to use the nifty collections auto pinner bookmarklet to create a file containing the information that's needed from those 60 collections. So the first thing is uh, to enter a tracking code and I'm going to just use cute animals. And that way, if I'm successful in making any referral sales, I'll know that it came from one of the pins of these collections. So it's telling me that the collections loading is about to start. Now to keep uh, the Zazzle servers happy, uh, we load them in chunks of 10 at a time. And the reason for that is it's actually got to open the collection pages in order to be able to gather the information and the images needed. And Zazzle would be unhappy if we were to try opening all 60 pages at once. So here we go. There's the first 10 loaded. Uh, and I'm going to speed up the video at this point so you don't actually have to wait the full length of time. Okay, so that's all 60 collections loaded and uh, the bookmarklet's now going to create a, and download automatically a data file containing the information from those 60 collections. So there we have uh, the data.csv file has been automatically downloaded and it's in my downloads folder. So now let's close this window so we don't get any interference. And we're now ready to give the Pinterest board name. And as I said, I've got one called Cute Animals that I want these collections to go to. I'm going to upload that data.csv file. And now I'm ready to load it into this area ready for pinning. If I'd created more data files and had more Pinterest boards, then I'd load in the extra uh, information into this panel and I'd end up with up to a maximum of 600 in here. Now we're going to start the auto pinning session and it tells me it's about to shuffle the pin order. And the reason for that is if we'd used more data files with their own boards, the result would be to change the order in which collections got pinned to their boards, keeping Pinterest happy. OK, and now we're ready for the macro to start uh, doing its stuff. And that's where it uh, clicks things for us and types things in for us and so on, all automatically. OK, so I'll just uh, move things around a little bit so it's easy to see what's going on. By the way, you can quite safely ignore 
what's going on in that macro window. I wish there was a way to hide it so that uh, all the technicalities there didn't frighten people, but I can't, so just don't bother to look at it, okay? So we'll just wait for the macro to do its stuff. Uh, and I'm going to speed up the video at this point so you don't actually have to wait the full length of time. And here it is typing in the board name for this particular pin. OK, that's the first pin created. The macro will now continue moving through the collections and pinning as it goes. I hope that's given you enough information to allow you to have a go at your first auto pinner session. Thanks for watching. Bye.